Underwater repellency affects more than 5 million hectares of agricultural land in southern and southwestern Australia. It is caused by plant waxes coating sand surfaces. Water repellency results in poor infiltration of water into soil, even after significant rainfall, and this negatively impacts germination and crop performance. With unpredictable opening rains at the break of season, farmers are turning to dry seeding crops to ensure timely completion of sowing. But some growers have noticed that seeding into dry soil makes repellency worse. Here at CSIRO in Floriot, we have used laboratory experiments to explore the effect of disturbing water repellent soil after it has been dried to simulate the effect of dry seeding. What we find is that where water repellent soil has been disturbed when dry, water enters the soil far more slowly than soils which have not been disturbed. The video shows a container of water repellent soil which was wet up and then dried. Soil on the left-hand side of the container was disturbed by mixing with a spoon. The soil on the right-hand side was not disturbed at all. A drop of water was applied to the left and right-hand sides at the same time. It can be easily seen that water sat on the surface of the disturbed soil on the left for much longer than on the undisturbed soil on the right. This effect has been shown repeatedly on different repellent soil types and drying conditions. We are still exploring the reasons for these results, but hypothesise that disturbance causes a collapse of soil pores, restricting water flow. Disturbance may also change the arrangement of waxy materials in the soil. We are engaging expertise in soil physics to try and answer these questions. The observation that dry disturbance worsens repellency has implications for farmers' decisions about the timing of sowing of water repellent soils in their seeding program. We are also exploring alternative seeding techniques in field experiments in the southern wheat belt of WA. And the work has been done by Margaret Roper, Phil Ward, Ramona Jongapier and Shane Myson, all from CSIRO in Floriot in Perth.